Check this view out. I live by here. Ah, I dropped it. <laughs> I dropped it. Um, nah, but obviously I'm back at the park and I was meditating for a good 30 minutes or so, on and off, you know, I, I kept like, losing focus, I kept opening my eyes, and I think I just think meditation, it just takes time to really get used to, and to really, to, I don't, I wouldn't say really master, but just get a whole lot better, you know, but I am proud that I came out here today, and in a video I want to talk about right now, it's, it's regarding about when to stop talking to women, or a girl, whether it's trying to hook up with them, trying to make them your girlfriend or whatever the case is you know that they're, they're, if she's giving you signs that that it, it ain't gonna happen then you should probably you should probably let it happen you should probably just just let things fall you know if you're giving your your best effort if, if you're doing every, anything you can to to you know, win her over to sweet talk her whatever you're doing bro and and, she, and she's not yours though it's time to go it's time to go because why that's important is because Let's say, let's just say you got with the girl you want for a really long time. You had a crush on her, or whatever. You met her somewhere, and you're falling together, right? So y'all are together now, and you must remember, while being with that significant other, you're giving her your spare time. If you're not working, if you're not doing laundry, if you're not grocery shopping, or just doing the that stuff we need we need to do, you're gonna be with her, aren't you? Well, most most people are. Most people are like to spend time with their significant others. That's just how it is, at least over here in the Western world, you know. But something I've desired for pretty much my whole life was to have a relationship, to have the most beautiful girl, and just to have the like the um, like-minded person, the same level of the mentality, and just be with her forever and live happily ever after, right? So I had all those kind of expectations. I thought I was gonna find the one. You know, and having all those expectations is what really took me away from myself because I spent, I've said this in other videos too, I spent most of my adulthood looking for love and relationships, all that stuff. Even even after creating this YouTube channel, you know, I, I pretty much made a vow. I was like, okay, no more no more this, no more girls. I'm not, I know female nature, I'm a MGTOW, all that stuff. And even knowing all that, I still, I will still find myself chasing and, and I was still beating my meat. It's like nothing really changed. I just like, the only thing that really changed is like I became more aware of women and their nature. And I was still wasting time trying to talk to them. So, hey, you know, let, you know, let, let's talk, you know, um, I think we could work out. But no, it, it never did work out. And I'm glad it didn't because, I mean, look what I'm doing right now. Look, I got my shoes off and everything, toes in the grass, sun's in my face. And if I had got with a girl, say back then, a year, two, three years ago, whatever, and I was still with and I'm still with her today, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't have never discovered what this world really is, this matrix that we live in, because uh, I've been so distracted. Not saying that relationships are bad. You know, if you're in one, you must remember this. You have to take care of yourself, not just worry about her. You want to make her happy? Yeah, yeah, I get it. You know, you like her or whatever, she likes you, and you want her to stay around. But if you want her to stay around, you got to take care of yourself. If you want to love her, you got to love yourself first. You know, I, I wasn't loving myself for the longest time, you know, and ever since I started this journey, I'm still learning how to love myself. I mean, I'm not saying I don't love myself, I do, but you know, as time goes on, I, I, I discovered things about myself I never would have if I was with a girl, you know, <laughs> having a girlfriend and going on cute dates and all that, all that good stuff that I've desired my whole life, you know, and it, it, it's something that I really had to master of, of letting go of all that desire, not even like, not even a sense of, of manifesting because apparently uh, some of the information I've gathered, if you just learn to let go of, of stuff that you want, like a job or, or, or whatever, you just forget about it, it, it'll come to you. Apparently so, like the universe will just give it to you if you just let go and stop caring about it. And I'm not even trying to like, just, just push girls to the side forever, you know, just so I can have one eventually. No, I wanna let us just separate myself from them as much as I can. For me and again it's not just so i could attract someone you know as much as i that would be nice and everything it's not my time my time now is to work on myself meditate and continue to discover stuff about myself and i can't say the same for for most of everybody um that we're surrounded by you know because most of the world as i said is still awake or they're still asleep they're not awake but you're awake you know what this world is too 
You know that we're in a matrix. You know that we're in a system. You know that most of us have lived our lives like sheep, doing the same thing, routine, day in and day out. Not, not focusing on ourselves, paying attention to social media or, or, or Twitter beefs or the, the hottest new artists or materialistic stuff. Nice cars, nice rims, nice, nice clothes. You know, the, the, the newest smartphone. Yeah, all that's nice, but it's distractions. Distractions from the sun. Can I get in there? Yeah. I can't see it. It's really blurry. Um, but yeah, it feels really good because not everybody can do what, I, what I'm doing right now because they're so, so distracted. They're so far into the system that they're never going to come out. And it's really unfortunate, you know, because they didn't have to be that way. But it is. But it's not for me. It's not for you. It's our time. We are the chosen ones. And we we spent too much time focusing on the wrong things. Like what's going on? What if, what if we had been doing what I'm doing right now? What if we had started meditating, started eating better, started drinking more water? What if we had done this two years ago? Just imagine a year ago. Because I, when I started this YouTube channel, I wasn't meditating. I was just, you know, I was just discovering what I wanted this YouTube channel to be. And I'm finally discovering what I, I believe what it has to be, what I'm doing now. I'm not saying I, um, I'm going to put the same kind of content, but most of it will be like this. And thank you for watching, by the way. So at the end of the day, like I said in my previous video, we had to take care of ourselves because all we have is ourselves, you know. And um, if you're, if you're, um, if you can relate to me, you're probably still gonna take this, this info, and you're still probably gonna chase girls. You're still probably gonna like, download that dating app, you know, because, because I went back to dating apps, <laughs> probably like a month ago when this whole thing started, because um, I was bored at home and I was um, on TikTok, and then seeing all, on TikTok, you know, everyone's pretty much half naked on there, like every girl, ranges from like 14 years old all the way like 25 or 30 year olds, you know. They're, they're all dancing and you know looking all cute and everything yeah sure and seeing that all these women you know looking all, all nice and dancing it like it activated something in my brain i was like man you know i'm attracted to that you know so I, <laughs> what do i do i get back on, on my phone and download all these dating apps because i started getting these urges again like man i want a girl i want a, i want a pretty girl i want a fine girl you know i want that girl nice body pretty face and it was bad it was a bad a bad choice because just like that, in a, a snap of a finger, I went back to my old habits. The bad habits that I've been doing since I was about 20 years old. On and off dating apps. So, what I'm saying is, like, it could, it could happen that easily. It could happen that fast to just, to just, you know, be on your own and discover who you are. And then, just like that, just back into the system. Back into the herd of sheep. But you don't, it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't. You know, we, we had to continue doing what we're doing we're on we're on the outside you know we're, we're separating ourselves from from the system and that's not a bad thing yeah sure people are gonna look at us weird or or thinks differently of us but who cares about that who cares the only person who should care what you think is yourself the only person you have to compete with is yourself it doesn't matter if if someone at work or at school is doing a better job than you who cares about that worry about what you're doing and you'll be okay. And learn the signs. Learn the signs from the chick. I don't care if you're trying to smash. I don't care if you're trying to get with her romantically or whatever. Be be with her forever. It doesn't matter. If she's telling yourself like, oh, uh, I'm too... Uh, notification. I'm t um, I just got out of a relationship. I'm not really looking for anything right now. If she's telling yourself like, like oh, um, I'm babysitting. I just, I just don't have time. To, to go on dates or, or, or answer my phone, bro. If a girl's into you, you're gonna know. She's gonna text you every day. She's gonna call you. Call you, not just text you, call you too. She's gonna FaceTime you. She's gonna ask if you ate. She's gonna ask how you're doing. She's gonna ask, you know, um, um, stuff like that, that no one, nobody really else is gonna ask you. And you're gonna know. If she ain't doing that stuff, bro, you're just wasting your time. She got 
four or five, six other dudes she's talking to, bro. Just because you got the number or whatever, it don't, it don't guarantee anything. You know, this world, this world is a joke and you must question everything. She is doing, she's doing you a favor and not giving you a chance. Take that chance that she didn't give you and put it towards yourself. Get out in the sun, meditate, drink more water, separate yourselves, separate yourselves from, from distractions. That's a chance. The chance that, that you wanted from her and she didn't give it to you, take it and use it for yourself. This chance, this opportunity. It's an opportunity and, and, and it's golden. It's a blessing in disguise. I know it sucks because <laughs> I know, bro, like I've wanted a girl for like the longest time. I'm almost 30. I've never had a girlfriend, bro. I ain't never had a girlfriend. Sure, I've, I've had sex. I've, I've went on plenty of dates, but I've never had that one relationship or several of them where they lasted months. The most a girl is probably like stuck around is, I don't know, a couple months. And that's not even being official, just like just talking and stuff like that. So all, all this time I thought that was a curse. It really wasn't a curse. It was a blessing. And it was meant for me because had I gotten into one, just one relationship that lasted a while, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be right here. And I'm thankful for it. All this will pay off, whether, whether it's I get what I want, you know, uh, uh, that career with the airline or a better apartment or a new car, whatever it is, I'm going to get it because I'm working on myself right now. I'm taking care of myself and I will manifest good things. I will. And it will happen for you too. But now's the time. It is. With that being said, I'll be back. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be back tomorrow or later or this week with another video, um, but I hope this helped out. I hope I hope what I said to you, you'll take it in and, and, and see what works best for you, okay? But I drop a comment, leave a like. We're on this together. Take care of yourselves and drink plenty of water. Stay woke. Be careful.